Hello, I'm the Temin English teacher. Let's get you exam ready. Today we're thinking about Lord of the Flies and we're going to be looking at chapter 10 and 11. You're going to know the text like an expert. In front of you now are images that represent the significant moments in chapter 10. Take a moment to familiarise yourself with them, but also to consider with what each image represents. Okay, chapter 10. Ralph and Piggy discuss Simon. Ralph admits to murder, but Piggy cannot bring himself to say the word. It's hard to admit our failings or to accept evil is innate, a part of us. So Ralph discusses it being murder. Piggy cannot even bring himself to say that. Sam and Eric arrive. Everyone says they went to bed early and Simon, like the boy with the mulberry birthmark, is never spoken of again. Then Golding focuses the attention on Jack's tribe and they've settled on Castle Rock by the sea. Roger makes his way up and is impressed by a rock that can be pushed over on enemies. And on hearing that Jack is going to beat a boy called Wilfred, um, he's very, very impressed indeed. He's been tied up, this Wilfred boy, and nobody knows what he's done. Um, Robert, a victim of the group's earlier cruelty, is equally impressed by Jack's power, as he tells Roger. And then we are um, back with Ralph's um, tribe, Ralph and Piggy, Sam and Eric, falling asleep on the beach, and Jack's tribe attack. Um, after the attack, diplomatic Piggy is surprised to find it wasn't the conch they wanted. His glasses have gone, and the chapter ends with Jack walking with a spear in one hand and the specks in the other. So there are those moments for chapter 10. So we've got um, Simon uh, being discussed by Ralph and Piggy. Simon's murder, that is. And then after that, Sam and Eric turn up and everyone um, says that they went to bed early and weren't at the feast at the time of Simon's death, although Simon isn't mentioned directly in that conversation. Then we find out that Jack has um, begun to torture some of the, the, the boys and beatings are happening. Um, and then in the night time there's a fight and Piggy's glasses are taken by Jack's tribe, leaving Piggy blind. Here are quotes to know. So we've got, that was murder. That's what Ralph says of what happened to Simon. And Piggy says this, it wasn't what you said. And the dash there is an extended pause, Piggy being unable to bring himself to even say the word murder. But that dash is more than that. It's symbolic of our own, um, of humanity's inability to accept the, the evil we're all capable of. And we've got a lovely um, quote here. Ralph pushed the damp tendrils of hair out of his eyes. Just to remind you that throughout the novel, he gets his hair is getting more and more um, unkempt to reflect that descent into savagery. Chapter 11 now. It's a key chapter. And here are the key events from it. Familiarise yourself with these images, but also try and think about what, what each image might represent in the chapter. Okay, chapter 11 starts with Ralph and Piggy, along with Sam and Eric, deciding to make themselves presentable to go to Castle Rock to ask for the glasses back. So they're thinking about school uniform and, and, and arranging their hair and trying to provide a contrast to, um, to Jack and his tribe, who they know will be painted. So it's very much savagery versus civilization in the climax of the novel. And we're hoping that there's going to be some sort of coming together and in, in the spirit of fairness and democracy in society, Jack will see sense and there'll be some sort of unity. Um, Piggy proudly carries the conch and is led by Ralph. Piggy is near enough blind without his glasses and they go and confront the tribe. After trying to appeal to Jack's long-departed decency, which we haven't seen much of since the beginning, Jack and Ralph begin to fight. And as they break from each other, Jack orders his tribe to attack Sam and Eric and they are beaten. Then we've got Piggy, who cuts across this um, moment of tension, in, and he makes a speech in defence of civilization and fairness and democracy and order and society. And while he makes this heartfelt appeal to uh, the boys, Roger um, leans on the lever, um, and a stick's been wedged underneath a huge boulder at the top of the rock, and it falls onto Piggy, hitting him um, between his chin and his knee, I think it is. Um, so he's he's struck from, from head to leg by this huge boulder and he falls into the sea. Um, so Piggy falls into the sea dead and the conch at the same time is destroyed. Ralph leaves alone um, as spears are thrown at him and Jack tells Sam and Eric they must join his tribe. 
Roger moves towards them to do something terrible to them. We don't find out what, but we see later that they're traumatised. So Golding leaves it to our imagination to decide upon what has happened to those boys at the hands of Roger. So we're heading to the end of the ch- end of the novel now, and this is how chapter 11 um, begins and ends. These are the key moments to familiarise yourself with, and it really is a significant chapter, given that it ends with Piggy's death. Quotes to know. You aren't playing the game, which is what um, Ralph says. That pairs nicely with him saying that was a, that's a dirty, that was a dirty trick to, to Jack when Jack breaks the specs and, and hurts Piggy earlier on in the novel. So the idea of him not really being able to, um, you know, to be that leader that we hoped he would be is reflected there. Sam and Eric protested out of the heart of civilization um, as, they're, um, as they're being um, beaten and assaulted by the, by the tribe. Which is better, to have rules and agree or to hunt and kill? That's Piggy's appeal to, the, the, to, the, um, to, Roger, to Jack's tribe, rather. Roger, with a sense of delirious abandon, lent all his weight on the lever. A wonderful little phrase there, delirious abandonment. Uh, the conch exploded into a, tiny th- a thousand tiny white fragments and ceased to exist. So there is no hope or fairness from, from here on in. And Roger advanced upon them as one wielding a nameless authority. Some key quotes for you to know from chapter 11. Okay, check out the other videos on my channel. I'll continue to add content. Feel free to ask something you'd like to see me cover in the comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share and keep revising.